It's day one of the STEM Challenge National Finals for both F1 in schools and subs in schools here at St Peter's College, Adelaide. It's a remarkable setting for the competition, which gets underway in earnest tomorrow. You can feel the energy in the room as the team set themselves up, build their trade displays and get their cars and underwater vehicles scrutinized. Teams have spent up to a year, including school days, afternoons, evenings, weekends and even holidays, honing their skills and working together to design and manufacture the world's quickest miniature Formula One car or remotely operated underwater robot. They have learned to apply engineering principles and used industry standard software and technology. They've developed team branding, created detailed technical portfolios, designed and made a trade display, produced a verbal presentation and collaborated with industry. All will be judged over the coming days. Day 1 involved scrutineering and rules compliance checking. You can see some of the teams moving around checking out their competition. Have they worked hard enough? What will it take to get as close to a perfect score and to stand on top of the winner's podium on Friday? You can sense the anticipation and in some cases the panic with teams having to make last minute alterations or finish that all important feature on their car because they ran out of time at school. They're also setting up their trade displays, preparing their portfolios for examination and preparing for tomorrow's underwater trials. What makes these events so unique, even more than the technology, achievements and awards? is that along the way these young people have picked up invaluable skills that industry is looking for. They have made themselves highly sought after. The heat is on as day two comes around and competition starts in earnest.